So we have a Jessica who's helping us here. <laughs> She's a little bit sleepy because we've been working on this all, all day. Um, so pretty much, uh, you know, we're doing a um, modified uh, bouvier cut. So we've got our skirt going. We're pretty much done with this side. Uh, let me fix it for you so you can get a better look. Um, we did a um, three quarter on the back leg here. We did a three eight. I mean a five eight right here, blended in with a um, uh, a three eight, and then the front leg we basically just trimmed it. You'll notice he's got some you know parts that are not blended in yet. Uh, that was due to matting, and then of course I took a dip right here. But we're gonna blend all that in. But uh, this is what we have so far, and the other side looks exactly the same. So we're gonna go ahead and um, you know clean up his face. And um, and then we're gonna send them home. So um, I'll I'll get the uh, I'll get our girl to kind of hold up the video so you can kind of see how I'm gonna do his face. Um, she's just you know, like I said, he doesn't get the traditional uh, bouvier cut. Dad doesn't want the fall, um, but he does get the fall sometime though. Uh, but it, we're here in South Florida. It's really really hot, and we just have to like take our dog shorter. Um, like if you notice down here, I already turned that in. I use my thin and shear. These are big thinners. I got them online. Um, pretty much what I did, hold your fingers, pretty much what I did is just kind of trim it down. You can use your curve to get like a nice, you know, narrow straight um, line under here, but I, I love my thinners, so I use them, you know, all the time. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, do me space for you guys since he's having a really hard time standing. I still have yet to do the back feet, but other than that, everything is done. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do me space so I can uh, sand him through. I don't know. He's got a mat under here. Can you pass the clippers? This has got a really chunk. He's got a big chunk of mat over here under his uh, chin. His chin is going to be short, so he's just gonna have that long um, mustache. He's, he's pretty much, um, you know, had it with me today. I'm gonna bring it closer for you to take a look. So right here is where the matting is. So I'm gonna take my chin to I mean, I know some people would, you know, either do math that or, or use their scissors to trim it. Ooh, the jewelry, buddy. But I, I, I don't want to do that because that's going to end up hurting him. So, you see, I, I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to put him through that thing. Like I said, he's not it. He's not it for today. Um, he's dad, and his dad knows uh, how he is. Um, he's a good boy. He's just old and, you know, he's a little bit older and he's just, we don't want to stress him out. So pretty much when I groom him, I trimmed all this stuff that's hanging out from, um, you know, under his mouth or inside of his mouth because he chews on it and he plugs him. But you will not be able to see it once I put these on. Um, when I put his uh, face down. If you're a new boomer, I don't recommend you do that. Ask another person who's more experienced to do it for you because putting your scissor inside the dog's mouth is dangerous. I do not recommend it, okay? Because I do it, that does not mean you can do it at home. So please, I beg you, do not do it at home. I'm gonna be good. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Mm -hmm. Yep, you can. I can't even go up there. Actually, don't go yet. I do need to help because it's not really me in this space. It's not even me today. So pretty much any hair that's hanging inside of his mouth, I'll take it out. I 
All right, so on these head, I'm gonna go ahead and use a three quarter again. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and use a uh, seven eighths. Um, most people call it a C comb. Um, if you don't know, uh, if you're doing this out of home, again, I don't recommend you do what I was doing at home, but if you're doing it at home, you wanna put in your clip comb, you see the two uh, behind, the two little hooks behind here. So you wanna put this into the blade. So hold on to that. If you can see, right here, just hook it up. Use your thumb to push it. When you push it with your thumb, it automatically grabs onto the blade. So if you bring it, if you take it off, it's like this. You put it, push it with your thumb, and you got it. So to check to see if it's on properly, you can turn your blade on, or you can just check here to see where all the teeth are lining. All right, so I'm gonna use a seven eight on his head instead. So basically, just take your comb blade coming down. I know, true, I know, you had it today, buddy. Again, you don't have to dig in, you don't have to rush, just kind of, you know, take the hair and the sides are going to go a little bit shorter because, you know, he's got so much hair. I know, I know, I know, he's mad at me today. being a groomer. Um, so high. 
Yeah. Okay, so I have to use my thinners on his face because he's really having a tough time. So I'm using my small blue thinners on his face just to kind of clean it out a little bit because with my curves, he's moving too much and he's He's really hurting my wrist. He's pretty much had it for today. Me too. All right, actually, I'm going to put it on the table a little bit lower. That way, he can keep his head up because that he is hurting my hand. And I understand he's been here for a little bit and um, he's had it. So you gotta hold on because I'm gonna be working with the uh, right here, just like that. I know, he really does put um, all his uh, power into moving his head. So you can kind of hold it here like you're, you know, doing a, a haircut. Uh, a human haircut, I should say, or, you know, just kind of hold it up and then try to get, trying to trim it. It's almost like doing a Yorkie here, but without shaving the tip. Ooh, I almost took my finger off there. I remember I was working for PetSmart. I accidentally chopped my finger and, of course, with the manager standing there and they said it was my fault, blah, 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 blah. Basically, it's a terrible company. I don't like it. Well, it's not a terrible company. The people I work with was awful. All right. Okay. You all right? You 
right now we gotta wait till uh, the winter time and winter it's like we barely get down to like 60 barely Okay, if the parent wants to take the shorter, if they want to leave it longer, but pretty much this is what they should look like. Sure, man. go. Like if you can see the side of his face here. But um, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Comment again. Um, it's your opinion. It doesn't hurt my feelings. So anything you guys have to say, just throw it on there. Just no cursing. Okay. Thank you. Bye.